investment lady. Yeah, right. So we're just about $20,000 away from the goal, and we have till the end of the year. So I saw how we turned out for the food drive yesterday. Right, we right. We can do this for Samaritan. Easily. They also do great Easily. work in our community. I love That's that you're involved in so many. I mean, you really are. You're, we could be bell ringing. She's a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I can't make it warm when we want it warm, right? I was going to ask you. Yeah, no. Well, no. it's going to be warmer. How about okay. that? We'll it's take nice. That. You yeah. yeah, no teens, no 20s, at least in the triad coming up over the next few days. We should be above freezing, actually. And you look out there today, and we had some sunshine and, yeah, some clouds as well. And I do think it's going to be kind of a cloud forecast over the next several days. should stay dry, but we will have some clouds passing through. Hey, winter official, and tomorrow will be a little bit longer. Today, sunset was at 509. Tomorrow, it's at 510. So, yes, we are talking about getting a little bit more daylight. That'll be nice, right? Well, we have high temperatures today that weren't like winter at all. 60 degrees in Burlington. To 57 in Greensboro, and we were up to 58 in Mount Airy, 57 as well in Ashboro, and that's easily five degrees above our normal high. And we were 25 out there this morning, though. And like I said, those nights are coming up. And as we look ahead toward the winter months, January, February, March, we've got warmer than normal temperatures expected across the north. We have equal chances of being above or below normal right now across the triad, but it does appear like we'll have wetter than normal conditions. And we've talked about this that pattern change from La Nina to El Nino, which means southern stream systems bringing more moisture across the deep south. And here's our third one from three weeks last Sunday, Sunday before that. This time it's not on Sunday, but it'll be here by early next week. They are dealing with it over Southern California right now. In the meantime, like I said, we've got clouds. A lot of this moisture is not going to make it down to the ground. It may show up on the radar, but the air is just really dry across the region. This is Saturday. If you do have travel plans for Saturday, you can see the warmth down over the south. We do have a little weather system with some rain and some snow up over the lakes and moving east. And then by Sunday, we're really starting to see the moisture being tapped out of the Gulf of Mexico. And then that will push east and yeah, into our area Christmas Day and Tuesday, it looks like. And then you've got snow up over the upper Midwest for early next week. Closer to home, this is Sunday, Christmas Eve. Temperatures close to 60 degrees, a dry day. Then by Monday morning, we're starting to see some of that Christmas morning moving into the southwest corner of North Carolina. And then during the day, it will start to spread north and east into our area. So we do have rain right now on Christmas Day. We also have rain in the forecast for Tuesday. And some of that could be heavy. Our rainfall totals will start to add up again. Maybe another inch or more of rain coming with this weather system. Now, the last couple systems have really helped us out because we were in moderate and severe drought. Now we're showing only stage one at North normally dry conditions across the eastern half of the triad. Still not much help in the southwestern part of the state. High pressure, quiet weather for us, passing clouds in the forecast. That'll actually keep us a little bit warmer tonight. We're in the upper 20s along the border here, so these areas are going to get down into the low to mid 20s. But for Greensboro and Winston-Salem, we should be pretty close to freezing tomorrow morning. I do think we'll have cloud cover in the morning, and then we'll see a little more sunshine in the afternoon, and the clouds will keep us kind of cool. Won't be as warm as today, close to 50 in the triad, also close to 50 in the foothills for tomorrow afternoon. Mountains, dry day, temps will be in the upper 40s. Now let's look at the weekend and into next week. Temps again are close to 60 for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Rain chances mainly afternoon and into the nighttime for Christmas Day. Breezy and wet on Tuesday and then lingering shower chances Wednesday and Thursday.